atheism. Uh, we look at morality and exploitation because uh, is there a decline in, 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 in morality and exploitation? I think it's a real issue on, on, on the, that is before us when we go to talking about what's happening in Europe. And I look at what happened just recently with Libya, where Denmark, Sweden, and France play major roles. These are nations mentioned. Mm -hmm. When I look at what's happening with Syria, when I look at what's happening with Haiti, when I, you know, North Africa, all of Africa actually, and parts of Asia, does, does the decline in religion necessarily mean a rise in morality? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not really looking at that. What I'm looking at is how societies are I'll doing, you on. how they're performing in terms of lifespans and um, you know, crime rates, adverse consequences of uh, sexual activity, um, economics, and so on. And what's just is, is abundantly clear, that it's fully documented, is that the more religious nations are, the worse off they tend to be, and the more atheists are, the best off they tend to be. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I'm wondering if that's at the expense of other people. For example, America of wealth is because of other people. Yeah, it's a complicated Europe question. Is, okay. It's a very complicated question. I'm not really sure how to answer okay. that. Okay. Can okay. you put your microphone down? Yeah, why don't you tell, say what it is? There's a call on uh, from up uh, Yes, I'm Because she's on the. Yeah, tell them who it is, Fred. It's yeah, hello, Kevin. Kevin. It's Kevin. The, this is uh, Fred and uh, Coley and Dennis. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, Hi, how are you? Nice to hear from you. And Harold is here. There's quite a quite a group is here. Good. And we're talking with uh, Mr. Gregory Paul about the problems with the uh, with the church. Uh, you've had a legal victory of sorts in Europe. Uh, could you speak about that and uh, some of the other problems that you and uh, Mr. Paul have encountered with, uh, with taking legal action against the church? Scandals. There has been charges in Australia, I believe, and I also heard some of the Native American uh, charges in, in Canadian institutions from the Catholic Church that uh, these became a lot of, very often slave camps and that sort of thing for, for youth and so on. So, um, you 
you know, I'm not specifically knowledgeable about these particular charges, but when I first started learning about the links between the Vatican and the, and the Mafia and so on, I was somewhat skeptical about that too. And I learned that that's correct. And what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to lay some foundations here to show that the Catholic Church has been repeatedly involved with criminal elements, that this is not an aberration for them. And maybe from this we can get some enough credit. And, and I'm doing it with mainstream newspaper articles that document this. So we, these are things that you can't deny. So mainly by, perhaps by doing that, we can lay the foundations for getting people to stop just automatically rejecting the kind of charges that uh, you, you people are making. And I have had that happen with, with atheists when I've talked to them about some of your, you're talking about the Vatican being connected with the, uh, excuse me, with the mafia being connected to the United States that had a connection with Catholic clerics. They kind of just automatically dismiss it. You know, just, well, they wouldn't do that. But if we can get this, this track record down to what's been documented in the mainstream press about these other items, it can help um, boost the possibility of getting people to look into these charges. Kevin, I understand you're going to be here in, in Kevin, this is Coley. I understand you're going to be here in January that you're looking for venues. Is that correct? Absolutely. I'm going to be here January 10th. And be here January 10th. How long are you going to be here? Well, at least a week, I think. Okay, so January 10th through the 15th and 16th. And we do need venues. And so anybody out there listening, please call Coley Club at 646-657-657. 7207. That's 646-657-7207. A powerful speaker, powerful researcher, and a man of great moral conscience. Um, yeah, we need those venues. Mm -hmm. Thank you, we, we need to. Uh, I, I just wanted to add to what uh, uh, was, was just said a moment ago. The, um, there's a very important document, and there's a lawyer in Washington, D.C., Jonathan Levy, who's been trying to actually uh, issue papers to the Pope directly, even though he's a, a sovereign head of state and therefore uh, supposedly uh, immune from prosecution. Uh, nevertheless, the lawyers, including two German lawyers, tried to serve papers on Joseph Ratzinger uh, as a citizen because of his involvement in implementing the policy uh, called Crimson Solicitanus, which actually orders uh, child abuse in Catholic parishes to suppress the evidence of that to be suppressed. Have you heard about these, the, the RICO suit for $600 million uh, put up by six, five state insurance commissioners against the Vatican, against the Holy See? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, see, this is the Martin Franklin affair, which I was going to talk a bit about that occurred just before 9-11, where Martin Franklin, a uh, uh, high school dropout, worked with the Vatican, high up Vatican officials to defraud 200, U.S. insurance companies of $200 million. And the state insurance commissioners caught on to this, and they've sued the Vatican for six hundred million dollars. And then this, this this made international headlines for a few years, although the, the Vatican connection was always suppressed. But you know, and this this suit has been virtually ignored. I mean, it's in the, we all, you, you, you should look. It, the, the suit is actually posted on the web. I'll get the information to you. But this is something you need to look at to see how these, this kind of things get done. Yeah, I can call you on my email. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, sure. But the, the thing is, what we need to do, like Mr. Paul is here now, looking for support, and one thing could be, we could all work together and supporting each other and sharing, uh, sharing a venue when we find it and get the word out about the... Uh, the, the banks and the problems that Mr. Paul is searching on, and also about the uh, the children that you're handling, and, and not uh, take this on uh, singly, but all of us together. Yeah, 
working. You know, one of the things that I've been complaining about in a sense is that the media has gotten obsessed in the public with the pedophile scandals that we know about. And it's almost harming getting out the word about these, the, 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 the greater scope of Catholic scandals. For some reason, people have fixated upon this. And I'm trying to get people to, to start looking. You know, we're looking at a, a big tree, but we're not seeing the forest of Catholic scandals that we really start looking into, getting people aware of. And that's Catholic scandals in the, in the last two centuries. Because the Catholics have a long history of scandals. Oh, they go. Oh, yes. they go. Hundreds of years. Yes. Millennia. So, yeah. but the uh, like in the case with with me, they were stealing from uh, Social Security, Medicare, and Med and Medicaid by uh, locking me in a, a, a Catholic hospital and when I wasn't sick and f for months and charging that to, to Medicare. And, you know, th this kind of stuff is, is going on. There was uh, about 20 children there with me, all of them paid for by Medicare because somebody who was very rich attacked them in school and they didn't want to take on the, the rich families. Are you there, Kevin? Yes, I am, yes. Okay. So, do you have anything? I think we can cover this up fairly well. Okay. What, what about you, Kevin? Across all religious yes. denominations, it's yes. huge, and also yeah. in, the fa in the secular yes. end of it as well. And one thing I'd reinforce is that the Catholic Church can never be reformed because it's a dictatorship. That's why it's the Mother Church that's got this direct connection to Jesus Christ. To to reform it would require making it much more democratic and having much more involved with women. I don't think it's a particularly good idea myself because I'm an atheist and I, I just think this stuff is ridiculous in any way. But still, reforming it. Require making it not the Catholic Church anymore, it becomes just another right. Protestant denomination. So basically, the Catholic Church, in a sense, has to be destroyed. That doesn't mean wiped out in some sort of obliteration, but it would no longer be the, the Catholic Church. And you know, an example of this is E.G. John Jr., who I pointed out was covering the uh, the murder by cyanide poisoning in Italian prison. He was St. Peter's banker by, by cyanide. He covered this for the New York Times in 1986. And he still defends the Catholic Church, and he doesn't talk about this stuff. He covered this, these bizarre, this bizarre murder. He's an example of the sort of living, he, he's a liberal, a liberal Catholic, living, living in a sort of a bubble. 
So we need to really start breaking through this sort of thing and getting people to be aware of how bad the church is, why it's not a moral institution, why we shouldn't be able to listening to its descriptions of morality as in terms of we have to ban abortion. So we had this woman in Ireland die uh, was a, one or two weeks ago because she couldn't get a, an abortion. Because of the Catholic Church, this is just absurd. And the mainstream press is not, still not covering this. It took them a tremendous amount of time to start covering the pedophile scandals properly. Basically, the articles in the Boston Globe finally broke that. And we need to figure out a way of getting the public conscious of the, the vast scale of the criminal activities of the churches have been involved in, far, far greater than the pedophile scandal. So those are my thoughts. Okay. Take on, if you're going, you're going to have to take on everything at once and make one big push at this rather than, because they, around the, uh, what's the wagon thing that they do? Circle the wagons. Circle the wagons and, uh, and ride it out when it's one scandal. And with the, the people that are in, naive enough to believe this stuff will find a way to, to excuse uh, a pedophile scandal and, and still go to church and still give them money. What it's going to take is a push on all fronts because with the banking front, I, I don't think that would do it because the uh, I've tried to tell this story to uh, politicians and that's a problem because they, they're the, not going to pay attention until the background is done, until there's enough. Mm -hmm. They're not going to pay attention, you know, individual politicians to individual uh, petitions on this, until there's enough background for them to, to break things, for them to become normal to attack the Catholic Church because they've just been involved in so much stuff. Because right now it's just not worth it, they're just not going to touch it. We really have to get this information out there to the public so it becomes part of the public consciousness that the Catholic Church has not only been involved in racketeering and covering child for pedophilia, but has been involved in much worse crimes, including with organized cr criminal elements. That then we can get to the politicians on an individual basis. Okay. Yeah, so the crimes of genocide, exploitation, pedophilia, yeah. I mean, we could just go on and on and on with yeah. the crimes of the Catholic Church and, and, and organized religion. Organized religion. We have to talk about organized religion. Yeah. And, um, question still remains, uh, where do atheists, atheists stand? And, and at what point do we stop hating on atheists as the kids say these days, hating on the atheists? Well, it is interesting. Gallup has been asking whether Americans would vote for uh, an atheist for president. And the last time they asked two years ago, it was 50%. The last time they asked just this year, it was 54%. It's going up. So, you know, as atheists become much more numerous in this country, we've doubled since, atheists have doubled since, the, excuse me, quadrupled since the 1960s as a portion of the population. Went up maybe 5% in the last um, five years as a portion of the population, according to Pew. It's becoming normalized. So in a way, this will take care of itself. But we also need to get information out there to kind of break this down. That's why I published a Washington Post op-ed. You can go see it. It was a year and a half ago in the Washington Post, me and Phil Zuckerman decrying the bigotry against atheists. It was on the opinion pages. Virtually unique. I got 85,000 Facebook recommends. It's a huge thing. For, you know. So that sort of thing is shifting, but it's going to take time, and also we need to push things along. And this is one of the ways to do it, is to show how the Catholic Church is not a moral institution, and as I've been talking about, how there's no way there's a moral God out there because of 50 million dead kids and so on, and how the best run societies are the most atheistic the, the, the Western, among the Western democracies. Get this information out there, it will help persuade people over time. Yeah, well, that's been I really mean, wonderful. Mention that it's, it's not an ironic term, uh, because I think uh, there's, in terms of uh, the greatest number of atheists I've met are actually within the church, because in practical sense, none of the leaders of this church and the priests seem to have a belief in a higher moral power based on their actions. Um, you know, I've found a lot more moral behavior on the part of atheists and non believers and people not in the church. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, well, I mean, this is true in terms of if you look at basic societal indicators, 
the, the, the ones that are doing the best are, are, are the, the atheistic democracies of Western Europe and Canada. So there's no evidence that uh, theism increases morality. And it, that's what I've been pointing out is that because half the children born have died, 50 million kids have died so far from diseases and that sort of thing that God had in hand in, it's actually immoral to, to worship a god like that. It, it's an act of moral depravity. There's no way you can get a sound society from worshiping a god that, that's uh, handled the, the, the situation on the planet so bad that, that our planet is a death trap for children and that sort of thing. So there's just no morality. There's also something I was going to mention earlier today when we were talking earlier about some stuff. There was a study done out of some universities where they exposed um, college students to biblical violence, God ordained biblical violence, sort of similar to the way that exposing people to um, video violence, and they got the same result. The, the violence, the ten propensity to report violence went up. So scripture is not good for societies, and neither is belief in God, and um, societies are, are it's what I call the atheist advantage. The best run societies are atheistic for various inherent reasons. And that's what we need to do, is get the information out there to start moving, accelerating the trend in the United States uh, towards uh, atheism. Anything else? Can we wrap up or what? Well, well we can. Come over and wrap no, up for us. No, well, I don't know what to wrap up. It was really interesting. Really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad we could get down. Sorry we weren't able to get your PowerPoint. I apologize again for not having been able to get to it. On another occasion, perhaps, yeah. we'll be able to do that and do it properly. Well, I, so. I would like to have a program with uh, Mr. Paul, you, Kevin, and... Uh, some other people to present their part of the... Uh, well, I live in Baltimore, so when Kevin's in New York, I can come up and... We oh, please do. We'll try to arrange an event here for January 10th, in fact, several from January 10th through yeah. 15th. Okay. That's great. I look forward to doing that. Okay, hello, Kevin. Okay. Okay. Thank say you hello. very much. Uh, so, thank you very much. Let me thank you very much. Yeah, hey, Kevin's in the church. Awesome. She yeah. has a question. Ask a question quick. I'm still recording. She got a question. Yeah, yeah. Do you expect to get any kind of results from uh, a lawsuit other, other than monetary yeah. Yeah. damages? Um, who, who's this being asked? Uh, this is uh, here, Barbara. Just, uh, here, to, behind to the camera. Gregory. Uh, I, I would like to know if, if you expect more than any kind of monetary damages, do you expect the church to go away with a, with a lawsuit? Well, I, I'm not involved in the, in the, the Catholic Church. Well, what do you expect to happen? I, I just want to get the information out there so people are aware of it. Hardly anybody knows the people like Michaela, Michaela Sedona was and Roberto Calvin. Just basic information so people have a, a better understanding of uh, how the Catholic Church, how corrupt it is, to degrade their claim to morality. Um, do you also know that there's only supposed to be one more pope after this one, uh, Peter the Great? And that, that's the Kevin. end of, that's the end of Catholicism after that. Uh, after this that. last pope. Yes, yeah. so the prophecy of Saint Malachi. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing well, Kevin would have to talk about that. I don't know. We didn't think about it. Oh, right. <laughs> it's like the Mayans, you know. Hey. It's oh, oh, well, thank you so all far, so much. good. Some some of this stuff like I I could speak about and put together the papers I have. The proof, like who was there, when, when, certain date, because my parents and, and the priest went through my stuff while I was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I was I was in the hospital, and because they, I was tortured to the uh, church the doctor. And they say, oh, well, the, 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 the kids just got carried away. Teach him the right way to go. Mm -hmm. You gotta, gotta forget it because 
this is God's will, and nothing was done about it. The right way to God. Well, Dr. King said we haven't even opened up the Christian era, so.